Now it's true that Filmic Pro is one of the best camera apps on the market, hands down, but its current subscription model might not be the best option for everyone. So in this video, I will introduce you to the camera apps that I find great alternative to Filmic Pro. For those who don't know me, Bennett Grades are here with smartphonefilmmaking.com, the best online course helping you take your mobile video skills to the next level. In this video, we will be looking at three camera apps alternative to Filmic Pro that will not break the bank and provide you with similar, if not sometimes better results. Now, one of the questions I get asked a lot is, do I need to use a third party app to shoot high quality videos? The answer is no. The iPhone's native camera app is more than capable of shooting great videos if you know how to use it to its full potential. Now, I use it all the time for shooting quick videos and B-rolls. It is a great option for those who want to keep things simple. However, if you are looking to have more creative control over your footage or want to achieve a specific look, then using a third-party camera app is a great option, especially if you're serious about making videos on your smartphone. If you want more control over your video, you might consider one of these three apps. Let's look at the first one. If you want an intuitive and easy to use app that doesn't have too many distractions, then the ProTech app might be just what you're looking for. The interface is clean with a simple design. It also has similar features to the native camera app where you can set and lock the focus and exposure and also switch lenses quickly. The ProTech app is free to download and will give you access to the auto exposure and focus feature, including the portrait video that will blur the background. So if you don't have cinematic mode on your iPhone, this is a great option as well. I talk more about it in this video up here. However, if you want to use the Pro mode, which offers similar functionalities to Filmic Pro that gives you complete manual control over your camera, you will need to sign up for their subscription plan. What? Another subscription plan? Come on. Hold your horses there. The first year is $14 and the following year will be $21 at least for my country here in Switzerland. Now, I'm not a fan of subscription models either, but considering Filmic Pro's recent price update where you will have to pay $50 per year is still a cheaper option for the similar features you get. Depending on what new features Filmic Pro will add in the future, $50 a year might justify the price hike. But for now, let's move on. I find that the interface when using the Pro mode is more user-friendly than Filmic Pro. And like Filmic Pro, you have the focus and zoom wheel to your right and the ISO and shutter wheel to your left. Waveform and histogram are also included, which will help you nail your exposure. You also have the assistant controls that include zebra, false color, and focus peaking. You also got your audio meters, for monitoring the sound. You can also use external mics for better audio quality. Another great option is that you can shoot in Dolby Vision and ProRes, or if you just want to shoot in 10-bit, you will also have the option to do that. You also have the ability to use it with different accessories, such as an anamorphic lens and a DOF adapter. Dual mode will also be unlocked, which works similarly to the Double Take app by Filmic Pro, where you can use two cameras to record simultaneously. There are many more features I haven't discussed, but overall, I'm sure this is a great alternative to Filmic Pro as it offers many similar features. I suggest you test it for yourself and see what works best for you and your shooting needs. But what about these video apps where you just have to pay one time, Bennett? Well, I got your back for those who are not fans of subscription models. The following two apps that I want to talk about are one-time purchases, as long as they are not acquired by Bending Spoons, right? So the second app is the Beastcam app for a one-time payment of only $499 with no hidden extras. No surprises, guys. This is probably the most affordable camera app on the market for iPhone users. Now, the interface does look busier compared to the ProTake app, but you have all the basic controls you need laid out around the screen. And once you get to know where and what each setting does, you'll quickly get the hang out of it. It has a wide variety of features, including 10-bit HDR and ProRes recording, you can also choose different bit rates, also hardware support, such as if you're using a DOF adapter or anamorphic lens. And I like how it shows the frame rate supported by the chosen resolution. So with 4K selected, I can shoot up to 60 frames per second. You can also choose different built-in microphones or use an external mic. 
Audio meters are also included for monitoring the sound. You also have your manual controls such as white balance, manual focus, zoom, ISO, shutter speed, and exposure value that you can lock individually. You can also use the auto focus and auto exposure reticle similar to most pro video camera apps for point and shooting. A histogram is also included at the bottom right to help you with the exposure. You also got your visual analytics such as focus peaking, zebra, and false color to help you get the perfect exposure and focus. Unfortunately, it doesn't offer any time-lapse feature, which I like to use whenever I travel. Also, you cannot shoot in log, which I prefer when it comes to color grading, but overall, a great app that gives you the important basic controls without breaking the bank. Last but not least is the Pro Camera App by Moment, which is my favorite camera app of the three because of its wide range of features and controls while still being user-friendly. The interface is clean and well organized. Without feeling overwhelmed, you have all the essential controls right where you need them. The interface does look quite similar to the native camera app, which I like. On the left side, you have your audio levels. Further to the left, you can set your resolution and frame rate and select your picture profile, which includes flat and log. Unfortunately, there is no settings for choosing 10-bit HDR Dolby Vision, which I hope they will include with a future update. To the right, you have your manual controls such as shutter speed, ISO, exposure value, manual focus, and auto white balance. Unlike Filmic Pro, where you adjust the wheel to change each value, the Pro Camera app uses a slider to adjust each setting, which I actually got quickly used to. What I really like is that you can set your shutter speed freely, like one over one of a second, as opposed to Filmic Pro, you're limited to a shutter speed of one over 24 of a second. Having the freedom to set your shutter speed low allows you to have more motion blur in your video, which can be used creatively and can help when shooting in low light situations. You can also choose between different shooting modes, such as photo, slow shutter, and time-lapse. Their time-lapse feature honestly is awesome as you can add motion blur that helps sell the time-lapse effect, which is a huge plus point. Usually I would have to add motion blur in post, but having this feature really saves time. And if you're someone who likes to shoot hyperlapse, even better as you can use the motion blur for that as well. You also have your live analytics at the bottom. You can choose between RGB histogram and waveform. You also have assisting tools such as focus peaking, highlight and shadow clipping. At the top right, you can quickly switch lenses. You also have your focus and exposure reticle, which also can be used separately, just like in Filmic Pro. You also have the option to customize and save your settings using the preset option. This saves you time from having to adjust each setting repeatedly. Now, for a one-time payment of $6.99, you get the video features. If you want the time-lapse mode and the motion blur feature, you can additionally purchase the Pro Bundle for $4.99, which I think is worth getting as I haven't seen this feature in any other camera app. Now there is a lot to know about the Pro Camera app by moment and I've just scratched the surface on how you can use this app to its potential to shoot high quality videos. Now, if you want to learn more about it, I've just released a comprehensive lesson inside the smartphone filmmaking course that covers everything you need to know about the Pro Camera app so that you can immediately start using it to shoot amazing videos. On top of that, guys, you can also join other students in the course and be part of our amazing community, which is filled with passionate mobile creators worldwide. So make sure to check it out. And if you're new to filming with your smartphone, make sure to also download my free smartphone filmmaking guide, which has helped thousands of people just like you to start filming amazing videos with your smartphone. And make sure to also be subscribed to my channel so that you don't miss any future videos. Make sure to leave a like. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Keep it mobile and I will see you in the next video.